Hello. I'm sorry, I'm late today. I overslept today. I woke up very early. So, I overslept. Sorry. Well, I'm here now. So, why to value your time in 2018 is very important. Why to value your time in 2018 is very important. Stay with me and I will tell you why. So, sorry I'm late. Time is the biggest wealth. But we don't know that. And it's really free. Time. Time is very important in our life. That people don't value time. They don't value time in our society, in in life today. Nobody value time. They don't know how important time is. So be here with me and I will tell you why time is very important. Why time is money. Why time is really good for you. So stay with me and I will tell you. But people don't know the greatest wealth you can think of on earth is time. The greatest it's time is even better than gold, it's better than silver, it's better than diamond. Time. Time is very expensive, but we don't realize that time is very expensive. And bear with me and you will find out why time is very expensive, okay? Time is the greatest thing you and I can ever have. And it's free of charge. Free. It doesn't cost you anything. God gave us, gave us time for free. You don't have to buy time. Nobody can buy time even. There is no money. Even if you're a billionaire, trillionaire, you can never able to buy time because time comes and goes. So time is life. Time is more than money, diamond, gold. How you use your time in life is very important. How you you. you you use your time in life. The year of your life, it's a subtotal to the time you have lived on earth. So the time of your life that you live is the, the year of your life is the subtotal of the time you have lived on earth. So if you're 30 years old, the time you've lived on earth, it's 30 years of time wasted. And if you don't do anything better with your time, anything to benefit your time, guess what? You've wasted 30 years of time. I've just gone by your life. If you're 40 years old, you've wasted 40 years old of time. So... Whatever you do with your time is what you do with your life. If you waste your time, you waste your life. But if you value life, you will value time. So for anybody that doesn't value time in their life, they don't value their life because time is life. Time is money. Time is, it's a wealthy thing that we take for granted. So let me keep going. If you want to be a valuable person in life, you will be conscious of time. If you are not conscious of time, if you are not valuable of time, if you don't know what time means, 
then you have a problem because people that value time people that are conscious of time they value their life because every minute every second that you spend here on earth you're supposed to use it to to benefit your life if not only to benefit benefit your life but to benefit other people's life and if you're not using your time wisely you're not using your time wisely to either impacting your life or impacting somebody you are wasting your time so this year use your time wisely use your time for something that's going to benefit you in the future something that's going to benefit somebody in the future don't just waste your time don't just use your time recklessly because time is value time is important time is wealth you can never buy back time you can buy a lot of things with money but you can never buy time back you can value your time by planning it how can you plan your time how can you plan your life you want to learn how to organize your day to day for example by the end of the day before you go to bed you're supposed to make a plan an agenda of the next day say this is how I'm going to use my time because each and every one of us have 24 hours clock 24 hours a day and it goes by so fast so before you go to bed every night this year 2018 plan your agenda lay out what you're gonna do in the 24 hours period laid out sometimes it doesn't go a uh, the way you expect it but at least make a plan of it so you know exactly how you're gonna accomplish your day so night before you go to bed make a plan say okay in the morning I'm gonna get up when I get up what's the first thing I'm gonna do you're gonna make time for God first make time for God get up in the morning pray have a devotion with God thank God for the day and ask God say God what did you what is your agenda for today even though you've created your own agenda but god have his own agenda for us every day in our life believe it or not the every day we live there is something we're supposed to accomplish each day but we don't know that so the only way you can know that by going to god by asking god or even you even better before you go to bed you pray about it that's even better before you go to bed you pray about it say God what is your agenda for me tomorrow what do you want me to accomplish to tomorrow because God speaks to us and once God speaks to you and give you the agenda of that day you can write it out after you write it out and then when you get up in the morning you say your devotion and you commit the day to God and then you step out because when you seek God first in your life everything you do you put God first God will always make road for you make the path straight for you but you have to learn to seek God first ask God first whatever you do you have to seek God in it so at night time plan planning that's how you can make use of your time good by planning your agenda for the day like some people have plan of their life like plan your life out how for like, give yourself time say in the next five years in the next ten years these are the things that I want to accomplish in life you lay the plan out you write it out because writing out you see it and you check on it and you make okay this month this is what I'm going to do Okay, let, no, let's start a day. Let's start with a day. Say, okay, for this day, this is what I'm going to do in, in order to achieve my long-term goal, my five-time goal plan, my 10-year goal plan, my two-year goal plan. So each day, 
you have to work towards that goal plan that you have each week you need to work towards that goal plan each month do you that's how you're gonna come closer to your goal because time is very important in our life it is very very important time some people don't realize how time is important but time goes by and you can never get it back like today is today like now it's 10 o'clock here so what have I done since this morning that time that since morning till now I'm not gonna get it back it's gone forever so lay out your plan five-year goal plan 10-year goal plan what do you want to accomplish in those years and leave it day by day day after day to week after week to month after month and year after year so that's what you will start so start by short-term plan that will lead you to your long-term goal by a day to a week to a month to a year till you get to your five-time goal plan and to your 10-year goal plan or whatever goal plan you have in stock that's how you're gonna do that anybody that value their time so much will not allow anybody to waste their time like I'm gonna be vulnerable again because I like to use example of myself about my life okay for my kids they are younger the seven and eleven me and them we fight all the time about time to be conscious of time and to use their time wisely I know some people might think I'm a terrible mom but you have to teach them early so I always teach my kids about be because I am a time time conscious person every day I have to accomplish something I have to do something and when I don't do something I like oh time already went by so I am conscious of time because I know time is important so every day I try my best to use it wisely not only for me but to benefit other people I don't just use my time recklessly and do absolutely nothing I need to either spend my time do something that is gonna improve my life or improve somebody life or, or, or something my children always are mad at me because I am time conscious especially my older daughter time conscious because she's 11 years old I always tell her you gotta hurry up you gotta make time she, she's the kind of person who just wants to relax just what she's not conscious of time at all I know they're young but you need to do things in order to do more stuff during the day you can't just waste your time watching TV or playing game and do that kind of stuff. Like I try to not, not that I'm not gonna allow them to play game or watch TV, but there's supposed to be time for all those things. Play a lot of it and do something that's gonna impact you, that it's gonna improve you. Like study, read and stuff. Not TV, TV, game, game, computer, computer, all that kind of stuff, no. If you're doing something on the computer that is going to educate you that is going to empower you that is going to put wisdom in you okay I get it but don't just sit on the computer or watching TV that's not going to put any value on yourself you're just gonna satisfy your flesh time is very important don't allow people to waste your time use your time wisely I know sometimes people are guilty um, they are intimidated by family member by their spouse or by their friend because their friends uh, waste their time doing absolutely nothing and they feel oh if I if I if I abandon them if I tell them this they're gonna think that I'm proud or they think I'm good enough or they're gonna think they're gonna call me names they're gonna this this that 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 whatever but you are responsible for your own life so you are supposed to use your time the way that it's going to benefit you. Now, don't let other people use your time that's benefited them. 
What about you? You gotta use your time to benefit you. So don't waste your time and don't feel guilty when somebody is um, using your time or mismanaging your time. You have to stand to speak up and say, you know what? I don't have time for this. I can do better with my time than doing this. You, we have to learn how to speak up, and because you are the director of your life, don't let anybody direct your life the way they want it. But you direct your life the way you want it, and the way that it's gonna benefit you more, and the way that you're gonna use your time wisely on earth. So don't make people guilt you about things. No, use your time wisely. Some people are uh, men pleaser. They please men and they suffer. No, don't be slave to yourself. <clears throat> don't be slave to others. If you only do what they want, you, you are a slave. Don't be a slave to yourself. Be a free person. If you know what you want and do what you want, you control your time and life, that means you're a free person. But if somebody else is doing all that for you, you are a slave, unfortunately. It's your life. So plan it and live it as a free person. Don't let other person control your life don't allow that okay I'm gonna read a quote from um, Charles Darwin okay he said if a man is allowed to waste one hour of his day has not discovered the value of life Don't allow to be wasting your time about things that are not going to benefit you in the future or that is part of your long-term goal or your short-term goal. Don't allow to be wasting every hour. Like I gave an example about my children. They, love, they can watch TV all day, but is that TV going to benefit them? Is it going to add value to them? No, it's not going to add value to you. You sitting down watching TV all day. You're just enjoying your eyes when you can use your time to do something else by helping somebody, by by reading a book or by doing something that is going to benefit other people. But don't waste your time. TV, it's not say don't watch TV. Watch TV, but like you can binge watch, binge watch TV 24 hours or more than 10 hours you're just sitting you're watching tv i can't do that i used to do all those things before i would binge watch tv i'll binge watch a series i'll binge watch things but i look at it i said my god this is a lot of waste of time when i can do other things in my life don't allow people to waste your time one hour is too much for somebody to to lose Every minute, every second count in your life. Every minute, every second count. Time is important. Some people waste their time talking on the phone all day. They talk and gossip and do all that kind of stuff that's not even going to benefit them. That's you wasting time. And guess what? You cannot get that time back once it's gone. Like talking on the phone, gossiping, and doing things that are not important. When you can use that time and do something to improve yourself, to empower yourself, or to improve somebody's life, or, or make somebody happy, or something. But talking on the phone, just gossiping. If you're talking on the phone, counseling somebody, or helping somebody through a problem or something, yeah, I get it. But if it's just a talk, unnecessary things, you are wasting your time. And you cannot get that time back you cannot buy it back you cannot ever buy a time back you can buy a lot of things back but time you cannot buy time back once you lose it you lose it for good it will never come back 
So use your time wisely. So use your time wisely and you will gain a lot in life. Time is like money. You lost time, you lost money. We we spend how you use your time. Let me put it in a better way. How you use your time will help you to gain wealth in the future. Like, I'm going to pick on, not really pick, but it's the reality um, about African people. We know how to waste time. We know how to waste time. We know, well, not me specifically, but African people know how to waste time. They don't value time. They don't value nothing. They, time, they just think, oh, how am I gonna waste this time? But they don't use every minute, every hour, every second to, 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 bring wealth into themselves by time. They don't know that time is wealth, time is money, time is important. They don't know, they, they, just, they just use time recklessly. Okay, I'm gonna give an example in life, okay? Where God said, oh, like a doctor, excuse me, a doctor said, oh, you have a month to leave or two months to leave. That is the time people will be conscious of time. Like, oh my God, you have all this time in the world, but nobody is conscious of those time. But when you are sick or you're diagnosed with something and they say you only have a month or two months to leave, now you're conscious of time. Oh my God, I only have two months to leave. What can I do with the time that I have? When you could have spent doing more things in your life before you've come to this and that the, the, you are limited to live on earth. You have two months or three months, and then now you have to plan your life. And you have to think about your family. You have to think about your future. You have to think about a lot of things. So now they're making you think. They're making you to use your brain. When you have wasted a lot of time that you could have done that, even though they have, the doctor have told you that you have two months if you've planned your life in the past you don't have to worry about that that you have only one month to live or two months of life because you've already planned your life you have already made things right in the past so even though you have two months or a month to leave guess what you won't be freaking out you won't be nervous you won't be shaking you won't be in a chaotic uh, uh, mood because you have lived your life right. You have planned your life. You have done everything that you were created for. You have uh, done everything that God created you and put you on earth. Because you've done that. So why are you freaking out? Why are you? You, you won't be panicking at all. Because you've done it. So this year, try to live each day that today is your last day on earth. If you live your life like that. When death come, or they tell you that you have only a week to live, you won't be in a panic situation because you've done everything. You've planned your life already. You've lived your life that you were supposed to live. Then you'll be ready to die with not worried about anything. Don't worry about your family. Don't worry about your loved ones. Don't worry about how your children's going to go to school. Don't worry about who's going to take care of this who's going to take care of that you're not going to worry because you already planned it you've already laid it out you have already make those goals you've already put those people that are supposed to do that so when you're gone they are going to take over there is no panicking so live your life every day like it's your last day on earth Every day count. Every time count. We're supposed to value our time. We African, we don't value our time. We know how to waste time. And we are wasting our time doing 
things that are not important in our life. If you're doing things that are important in your life, you don't have to worry about anything because you are doing what you are supposed to do in the first place. So don't make people waste your time. You are the controller of your life. So control your own life. Don't let other people control your life for you because God has put in us, the, God has designed us exactly how we are supposed to live our life it's up to you to find and dig out of you and live the life that you are supposed to live by not wasting time you can do that by educating yourself by reading going to school and being around people that are living the life that you want to live in a right way in the kingdom way like there are a lot of things out there you can you can learn from don't just sit down and do nothing and then you're panicking when a, a doctor diagnoses you and say, and then now you will come and be blaming, oh, it's the devil, it's this and that. There is nothing to do with the devil but yourself. Anything you go through in life, it's your fault. It's your, it's the way you live your life. That there is circumstances in your life that you're going through. It's because of lack of knowledge are you not knowing and we blame the devil everything is the devil you are the one that will give the devil power to rule your life to do because whatever you happen in your life you can step out of it god give us the power in us to step out of it to gain back our lost time but it's up to you to make the decision say you know what i'm not gonna live in this condition i am i can do better than this because god have created me to live a better life to do better than this you have to empower yourself you have to get the education that you need to empower yourself and if you want to do business you go to people that have done business that have been successful in those business area and then you educate yourself and you can become a successful business person but you sitting and doing nothing about it and sometimes we go to church we pray he said oh the answer is gonna come the answer is already in us God have already given us the answer we have the answer but if we don't live out what God has created us we're just wasting our time value your time don't go to church to be praying. You, do you know that when you go to church and pray and pray, not I'm, I'm, I'm against praying. I'm not against praying. Prayer is good. But if you just pray and don't do action, you're just wasting your time. Praying without action, it's, it's useless. You're just wasting the prayer. You're just wasting time. And even one of my series that I, I talked about a couple of days ago about uh, uh, forgiveness. In, in order for you to unlock the kingdom of God, you have to live in forgiveness. You have to live in love. But when you are bitter, when you you angry all the time, you think everybody's against you. You think people hate you 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 just live in in this hateful environment you try to piss everybody off guess what you're locking the kingdom of god it nothing will flow even if you pray you fast 40 days you do everything the wonderful man of god lay hands on you if you hate people you have bitterness in you you will lock the kingdom of heaven so value your time live on earth by loving people use your time wisely as if it's the last day on earth value your time is very important so value your time this that it's your it's your last day on earth every day leave it like free there are things we can very that we can compare our life to some people compare their life to to money some people compare their life but you know what i'm going to tell you this like the everybody wants money in their life oh i want to be rich i want to do this but they don't know that time is value is more 
wealthier than money. Do you know that? You can store up money, but you can store up time. You can never store up time in your life. Once the time is gone, it's gone. You cannot buy it back. No matter how rich you are, you will never buy that time back. You can never store time. Say, hey, I'm going to store this time for the time that I use it. No, you can store money for raining days, for days that you need the money, but you can never store time back. Once you waste it, once it's gone, it's gone for good. You will never regain time. Time is value. Time is important. Time is life. You will never save, you will never bank a time, say, I'm going to bank this time for the time that I need it. You can bank money for the time you need it, but you can never bank time. So the, when you waste your time, it's gone for good. You will never get it back. So if you're 30 years old, if you didn't do anything progressive to your life or your future for 30 years, you've wasted 30 years of your time on earth. But if you've done everything right and you're building your future, you're putting plans in place for, for, for the future, guess what? You've gained 30 years of your life. But if you wasted it doing partying and going to the club or watching TV or doing things, you've wasted 30 years of your life. But if that 30 years, you went to school, you educate yourself, you've gained time, you've gained wealth. But if you, you're doing training and doing things, you're gaining wealth, you're gaining time. Because those things that you've, you went to school for five years, you've gained knowledge in you. And you're going to use it and it's going to bring you wealth in the future. But sitting now and watching TV and going to club and gossiping and joining bad gang, you're wasting your life. So this year, stop doing that. Bring value into your life. Bring wealth into your life. Use your time wisely. <laughs> you are wasting your time. I am bringing value to people's life by telling them this because they don't know it. But I will save your comment for later. I am not wasting my time because I have done my research. Don't sit on the TV and watching TV and you think that you're getting time. You are wasting your time. If you listen to this, if you come to bash me, you are just wasting your time. But I am trying to educate people how to use your time wisely because I know how to use my, my time wisely and it's benefiting me. So going to Facebook, browsing and gossiping and seeing everybody, you're wasting your time. You can use that time by reading by educating yourself, by doing something. So time is important. Don't waste your time this year. Do things that's going to improve your life or improve somebody's life to better somebody or better your life or better your family. Don't just use it recklessly by doing things that are not going to improve your life or better you in the future. So time you wasted, you will never get back. Have wasted time in my life. Have wasted time in my life. Like seriously wasted time that I could have done things to improve my life. But it's gone. So now I have come to the realization that wow, time is value. So now I use my time wisely. I use it wisely. I teach my kids, they are young, I teach them. They're still young, but soon they will get it. That time is time is wealth. They have to use their time wisely. 
they can't just sit around watching tv or playing game or doing stuff but they need to use the time the 24 hours time to empower themselves empowering somebody not just use it and waste it do not waste your time when you waste time you're wasting money you're wasting wealth it is important don't waste your time life is important you don't know when you're gonna die you don't know nobody knows when it's gonna be the last day on earth so let us use our time to improve our life or improve somebody's life because you don't know when your day your time is gonna be up there are a lot of people dying every day you don't know what what you're doing you don't know when so leave your day every day on earth as if it's your last day African people not care for all time they just waste life and then when they get there oh my god I've wasted so many time let's all this year that's why I'm preaching this that's why I'm telling people to know how to use your time and once you use your time wisely you will regain help, help. you'll be successful in life because all the people the billionaires today Bill Gates Steve Jobs like Oprah Winfrey like all the people that have money in life they value time you want to be like those people you have to value your time you have to use your time wisely lay out your plan your short-term goal long-term goal and every day you work towards them and then you're gonna accomplish it so I'm just gonna look at my notes here to make sure I went through everything that I was supposed to say So, make use of your time this year. And we will, you will, you and I will be successful if we make use of our time and we use it according to what God designed us and planned us. So, I'm going to stop here for today and I will be back tomorrow. And God bless you. I love you guys. And I hope you guys listening to this video and using and you have to practice them. If you don't practice them, you will not reap the benefit from it. I'm not just wasting my time here talking, but people need to know it. Some people don't know these things. That's why I'm trying to tell people how and how they can be successful in life. If you use these videos and put it into practice, you will be successful. So. You have a good day. Share this video. Tag somebody. And God bless you. And I love you. Bye.